。今天的影片会用全英文来呈现，所以如果有需要的话，可以点这里的 CC 字幕哦。Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the October Journal. If you're new here,、uh, this is a series where I use full English to film a video about just kind of everything in life. I've kind of been out of schedule recently because it's been like crazy busy, but here I am.、Um, let's begin. So the first thing I want to mention is Nomo. If you follow me on my Instagram, you will see a lot of kind of like old-fashioned and Polaroid style. And I was introduced this app by Agnes, and thank you for that because I love it so much. This is basically an app where you can use your camera, but then you create just kind of like this style of photos. You will see me posting a lot on my Insta stories. And when I went to Thailand, I actually took a bunch of photos with my friends. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I personally just love it. By the way, this is not sponsored. Basically. In this app, they are I think two complementary、um, cameras, but you can also purchase different cameras. I think I have five in total, which is a little bit extra. But if you like more of like old-fashioned, nostalgic kind of style, you will love this app. And the next thing is a lip product、um, I'm wearing on my lip right now. This is the Innisfree Vivid Oil Tint in the shade number four.、Um, I was a huge fan of the YSL Lip Stain, which is very similar to this product. It is very moisturizing because it's an oil based. When I apply on my lip, it doesn't feel greasy or uncomfortable. It's very comfortable、uh, wearing this. For the most part, it's pretty long wearing throughout the day. Obviously, when you eat or drink, it kind of wear. Off a little bit, but you don't need to like reapply it every single hour. Also, around 10 minutes after you apply to your lip,、uh, it will turn into kind of like a. Very comfortable sheen on your lip. So far, I really love it.、Uh, this is my go-to recently, and it's kind of like fall, you know, like it's deeper. It's not like it's deeper. So. Highly recommend that as well. Moving on, I'm gonna be talking about a show. It's called The America's Got Talent Show. I just love all the performances, especially a lot of like young talents going up at the age of like nine or ten, and they were doing a brilliant job in just performing on the stage. They have such a great stage presence. Maybe it's because I can't really sing, but I get excited or I got so inspired by people who had great voice because you know music is kind of magical. It is. Very contagious. Some of my favorite talents. I really enjoy Celine Tan, Darcelin, Courtney Howen, Angelica Hill, of course. I also discover quite a few songs that I am now obsessed with. I've been listening to "Who's Loving You" by Jackson Five, like Michael Jackson, I think. Natural Woman by Aretha Franklin. How am I supposed to live without you? By Michael Bolton. Three songs has been on repeat <laughs> in my Spotify. I I I I love them. Okay, so next I guess I will talk about my October in general. One big、uh, task that I gave myself in October was to separate my、uh, work and my personal life because I love my job in general, but at the same time I also want to keep. Some time for myself, you know, like I love making videos or stuff like that. But it requires me to edit. It requires me to watch a lot of different videos. That is like kind of similar to what I do during the day. I don't know, like it's a weird feeling. But just because I couldn't really separate that really nicely, so I sometimes would put a lot of pressure on myself and just blame myself for not doing good enough. I've been trying to implementing a new idea into my life. It's kind of like my life motto at the moment. I'm not gonna say that you're gonna. Do the same thing as me, but、uh, I'm just giving you an idea, and that is, you are not that important. So hold on a second, don't panic, people. I'm not trying to bash anyone's self-esteem. I'm just saying that because of my personality, I care 
about things way too much than I should so I sometimes will blame myself and just like feel bad about myself that is not healthy so what I mean by you're not that important is that when things happen it's all gonna be okay if you just made a mistake and that's okay you just need to try to fix it and everything will be just fine at the end of the day if you won't care about it like 10 years after why would you care so much right now feel like I can use a different angle or perspective on obstacles that I encountered but definitely keep your chin high and just do whatever you can do your best don't hurt your self-esteem you are important to a lot of people yeah I'm just trying to say don't put too much pressure on yourself last but not least I just want to encourage every single one of you to go to vote on November 24th because it is very important for Taiwanese people and to a lot of my friends I'm not trying to ask you to have the same opinion but to me it is very important to support people to have their own choices in life or in a relationship to me it's pretty comprehensive I just support people to love who they love at the end of the day nobody has the right to say no you can love that person if you have a different opinion on this I would give you a hundred percent of a right to you know defend yourself or just express your feelings but make sure that it's pretty rational I don't think that being irrational on the internet would benefit anyone so let's just you know keep it on a balance but yeah that will be the summary of today's video i hope you guys will enjoy it if you like it please give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye they were doing a beautiful um okay and also uh, Grace Vanderwell. Oh, by the way, oh, when I see people got a book 